Aloha, this is Heidi at Easy Peasy. In this video, I'm going to show you how various newborn wool diaper covers fit on my newborn baby. He weighed six pounds, 14 ounces when he was born, and he was 20 and a half inches tall. In this video, I'll be showing the Bum Genius size extra small wool diaper cover that closes with hook and loop closure. I'll show the Poppy newborn wool diaper cover and also the mini one size and you'll get a peek of the one size cover as well. I'll show you the Baby Greens Classic Side Snapping Wool Cover in the newborn size, and a Lovey Bums Newborn Small Snap in One Wool Diaper Cover. For pull-on style wool covers, we'll be looking at the Desana Knit Wool Soaker in size three to six months. So they do make one cover that's smaller than this that's considered zero to three, but we have here the three to six months. And these last two wool covers also count as his clothing. We have two pairs of Slims by Truly Caris. Thank you so much for sending these to me to include in these videos. I have one heavyweight pair of newborn Slims and one midweight pair of newborn Slims. This video is just to show how these diaper covers fit on him. I will be doing a separate video that's more of a review, including what I like or dislike about the different covers. He's currently seven pounds, seven ounces, 21 inches tall, rounding up more like 20 and a half, and he is 12 days old. Let's take a look at how the wool diaper covers fit him. This first one is the Bum Genius cover with the hook and loop closure. The difficulty with this one is finding something to fit under it. Right now I have a homemade half flat wrapped around him with an insert inside it. In order to keep the legs loose enough, not too tight on his legs, it makes this waistband a bit too loose here. That's how it is when all there is is the hook and loop closure option. This one is super small. It fits below his umbilical cord stump, but the thing is it's just so low rise that it's hard to fit anything under there. The next one I'm gonna put on is the poppy wool cover with snaps in the newborn size, and I just wanna show you first that I have a tri-folded preemie pre-fold in here, and then a hemp cotton booster inside that. The preemie pre-fold isn't quite enough absorbency, but it's one of the things that's small enough to fit in this poppy newborn cover. Right now, I have the rise snapped up this one row, and it sat nicely below his umbilical cord stump. I originally was snapping this in all the way, but now today I have it unsnapped a little bit. It gives a good fit around the legs, this is a really nice option if you want something that fits really well, really trim on a newborn. The only issue again is figuring out what to put under it since it is such a small and trim fitting cover. I wanna show that at this point he could also wear it with the rise unsnapped and it's still fine under his cord, either way works just kind of depends how bulky the absorbency you have underneath for which option. Next up, I'll be putting on him the Baby Greens Classic Side Snapping Wool Cover, and inside that I'm going to be using a newborn Clothies Prefold. I'll be jelly rolling it in, but then I just have a trick where I don't use a snappy. I just roll it in, fold it on him, and use the cover to hold it in place. I only used two different types of newborn wool diaper covers with my previous baby and between the two this was my favorite and once again this one is up at being one of my favorite wool diaper covers for newborns. It can get nice and snug around the leg by putting it on the tightest leg setting but then I put it on the middle setting on the waist just to allow room for either the umbilical cord stump to be under here since it is breathable or right now his belly button is still healing so I like a little bit extra space on the waist. So I really like that you can snap the waist and the legs separately. This has good containment. We never get leaks out of it. This is a cover I could use day and night and just keep using it. So I've been trying all these different styles. I feel like I'm back to my original advice. Get yourself two to four of these baby greens covers, a whole bunch of newborn prefolds, and enjoy cloth diapering your newborn. Super soft, nice cover. Okay, so here's how I have the prefold underneath. I rolled in the leg areas and then I just kind of 
went like that with the tabs and had this flap hold it in place. Next up, I'm going to be putting the Lovey Bums in one wool crepe cover on him with snap closure, and I'm gonna do it with two different options. I'm gonna do it with the Lovey Bums fitted diaper, size newborn small under, and also with this snap-in insert that's meant to go with the Lovey Bums in one style. You can also get ones that are just covers that don't have the inside snaps in them. What I've noticed about this thin crepe fabric is that the legs get stretched out really easily so they don't end up being great containment. If you're gonna go with a Lovey Bums cover, I would go with one of the other type of wool ones. I think they've made as well interlock and maybe wool jersey ones. But this wool crepe one, it just does not hold the shape around the legs. This is right after it's been washed and put on. Once it's worn, they keep stretching out but since he has a fitted diaper under, I don't think we'd be getting leg leaks. This setup would work okay. I have him on the tightest waist setting here. And this does come up above the umbilical cord area here. Again, wool is breathable, so it is okay if you put it over the stump if it's not pressing or snagging on the stump. So this is the Lovey Bums newborn small fitted he has on underneath. We've got it out one here, so this other snap is all the way on the loosest here near his hip. And this one, when his legs are down, it's under the belly button area, but when he raises his legs, it does come up to the belly button area there. So that's giving the first layer of protection, the elastic around the legs there. Now since this is a snap in one cover, it has these two snaps here and one here to be able to snap in this insert. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on him next. So this is the same Lovey Bums in one, but now with that snap-in insert in there. So now that we don't have a fitted diaper on, it's just not gonna be as great containment around the legs with this um, snap-in insert. Right now, with the snap-in insert, it's actually kind of helping hold the cover down lower under his belly button there. But again, like I was saying, this is just a very roomy fit cover it's kind of meant more for going over bulky fitted diapers so it's looking fine now maybe if he were to wear this right now with his nap and insert it'd be okay because like I said I just washed this cover and it hasn't really stretched out around the legs yet this wear. So I'll be putting on him a Desana wool soaker size three to six months with a Lulu Do size one fitted diaper under there's the Lulu Do size one fitted diaper on him, snapped in two snaps from the side, rise setting snapped up. This has such excellent containment around the legs that I really trust using this type of fitted diaper under a nice stretchy knit soaker like this. Here he is in the Desana size three to six months. They do make this in one smaller size, a zero to three months that comes just in this natural color, but I'm happy that we got this one on a cool night it comes up nice and high to keep his belly warm. You could fold this down if you wanted to not cover up so much. And you could fold these up. Being that he started at six pounds, 14 ounces, I think it was the right decision for us to just skip the zero to three month size and go straight to the three to six months because he'll be able to get a long time use out of this size. Next, I'm gonna put on his pair of Truly Karis newborn slims. This is actually going to be his first time wearing them and I'm going to pair it over this workhorse newborn fitted diaper with snap closure. Here he is in the newborn workhorse fitted diaper snapped into the tightest setting here. Well I guess it could overlap but without overlapping the tightest setting so that will give him a nice good fit around the legs. I want good containment if he's going to be wearing it under a pull-on style wool interlock. I think I remember the trick to getting on like longies or the slim style like this on a newborn is to fold them up first so I can reach in and grab his foot. Let's see if this works. Here he is in his truly curious newborn slims. I had to pick him up to pull it up over his butt in the back. This band is sitting over the umbilical area so that's why I was waiting to put these on him until his stump had fallen off and I'm actually able to leave them way cuffed up like this. There is quite a bit of growing room in the length. Again, he's about 20 and a half inches tall right now, and he'll be able to still wear these lengthwise for a while. Give you a fuller picture there of how they fit him. 
I'd say they fit really nice right now on the waist and the hips. And he's just got extra length. It's comfortable, but not too tight. It wasn't too bad to put him on. I just had to pick him up to pull him up over his butt. Cuffing him up before putting him on helps too. Truly Karis sent me two pairs of newborn slims to review. I just received this pair of mid-weight slims when he was two weeks old, so we're gonna try it on him today. And I previously showed these heavyweight newborn slims. For some reason, even though these are the same size, it looks like the mid-weight ones might be slightly shorter than the heavyweight ones, which is fine because the heavyweight pair was extra long on him. So we'll see, this is just a thinner interlock wool fabric and I think this mid-weight will be great for our weather. We don't need quite as thick as this heavyweight, which is what diaper cover are usually made out of as a thicker heavyweight. My son is currently seven pounds, 13 ounces, just about 21 inches tall, and he's 16 days old. Here he is in his midweight Truly Caris slims. They sent me both the midweight and the heavyweight so I can kind of compare them for you guys. These definitely are thinner. I almost can see the orange edge of his workhorse fitted diaper underneath. And then they're a little bit shorter, so I have them cuffed up still, but just not as far. So he definitely has growing room here in the length of these. I do like that this is like not as tight of a fabric. It's kind of stretchier because I like to change the diaper really often. So I like it to be easy to pull on and take off. So we'll just have to test out and see if this is thick enough to really contain the moisture in his diaper. So far, I've just washed them in Lano Free Wool Wash and then put them in a bath of Lano Rich Wool Wash so they only have a light lanolin on them. As soon as I get time here, I'm going to do a good heavy lanolin bath on all his woolies, but having a newborn baby, I just haven't gotten a chance to do that since I lanolized everything in a big batch before he was born. But I think having a good amount of lanolin on things is probably a good idea. Again, for comparison, this much thicker one is the heavyweight, which is normally what's used for diaper covers. Some people just like the midweight, like on potty trained toddlers, but we'll see since we change the diaper really frequently with each pee and each poop, I'm hoping that this is gonna be enough coverage for him. He's currently eight pounds, eight ounces, so eight and a half pounds. He's 21 inches tall and three weeks old. Let's go ahead and look at how the various wool covers are fitting him. I want to start out with the two smallest covers, so the Bum Genius and the Poppy Newborn size. I actually haven't been using either of these on him lately, and that's just because the covers are so small that it's hard to fit anything under them. But I wanted to do a little more experimenting here and see how they would work with either a newborn prefold or a newborn workhorse, because I realized when I first started cloth diapering him with these covers, they newborn prefolds I have hadn't quite fully prepped and shrunk down all the way so they were actually a little bit longer than they are now. Now my prefolds have shrunk to more like 10 inch by 10 inch squares. So it looks like this Bum Genius cover almost can cover up the whole prefold. You see a little bit of the newborn prefold sticking out at the top. The main issue I've had with this cover is if I adjust it correctly for his legs then it ends up really loose here at the top. So one thing I experimented with is folding in this front little side tab here a bit to take some of the excess out of the waist before velcroing it. So that can help make it a bit better of a fit here. I spent one day just experimenting with what I could fit under this cover to try to help out somebody who was asking about this particular cover. but. I think really my advice would be skip this size extra small and just start with size small. He's wearing the Bum Genius extra small cover over the newborn workhorse fitted and the main issue is that this wool cover isn't quite covering the whole rise of the fitted diaper but it actually does a better job covering that newborn workhorse than I thought it would 
it's covering around the legs. The Bum Genius cover is also covering the whole workhorse in the back, which is surprising because this has a really low rise on the back. I'm going to try putting the Bum Genius extra small cover over the newborn muslin flat. Let's see if this will cover it. It actually covers it better than I expected, but it's feeling like it's adjusted pretty tight around his legs to try to get over this. A bit of the flat is showing up here above the cover. And a bit of the flat is sticking out in the back here too. So if you really try to tuck this all in, you might be able to get it under there, but it's not gonna be an easy, quick fit to get it to cover this newborn muslin. Here he is wearing the poppy newborn size wool cover over the clothies newborn prefold. And now that these prefolds have shrunk up from three weeks of constantly washing them every day, it is covering the whole prefold. So I've got the rise unsnapped here. It needs to be to cover up the top of the prefold. These covers are pretty narrow between the legs, so I always have to really jelly roll in the prefold really good to get it to fit under the cover around the legs. I've got the snaps on the loosest setting here at the waist. Here's the back view. It looks good on the back too. I can get all the prefold underneath the cover. So I would say as long as your newborn prefolds are really well prepped so they've shrunk down well, then they would be able to pair with this poppy newborn cover with the rise unsnapped here. And even with it unsnapped, it still fit underneath his belly button. He's wearing the poppy newborn cover over the newborn workhorse fitted diaper. Rise and snapped, it's not quite covering the workhorse. You can see it sticking out around the waist and sticking out around the legs. So I'm thinking only a super trim fitted diaper, like Poppy does make their own newborn fitted diapers. That might be the only thing that would actually fit under this newborn. Here's the newborn muslin flat under the Poppy newborn wool cover. It's covering most of it. Some of the flat is showing up here. And the main problem is around the leg here. I think I would just I need to roll in more, but this roll is just so thick, it's kind of hard for this trim cover to cover the bulk of this. The bird's eye half flats are a bit more trim, so those might be a better option. This muslin one is a bit more fluffier, bulkier, so with some effort, you might be able to get it to fit under the, the poppy newborn cover, but it's not an easy fit to cover it all. It is pretty well covered in the back as well. It's just this one roll on this leg that's like bulging out of the leg hole there. I wanted to add in here that what I heard from other people worked well for them under the newborn poppy cover is either a newborn size pre-flat or a newborn size stretchy flat. This is an example of a pre-flat from Noble Bebe diapers. I don't have any in the newborn size to show you with the cover. This is a one size one. But if you get the teeny tiny newborn size pre-flat, you could use that under the poppy newborn cover. Or if you're making your own DIY stretchy flats, you could just cut a 20 inch by 20 inch square out of some knit fabric and that should work under the newborn cover as well. I will be taking the Bum Genius extra small cover and the poppy newborn cover out of a rotation now that he's 8 pounds, 8 ounces, 21 inches tall and 3 weeks old. We did not get much use out of either of these. It would have been better to start with a size small in the Bum Genius, and we're enjoying the mini one size on the Poppy wool cover, which we do already have. Now he's wearing the Poppy wool cover in the mini one size version. So not to be confused, this is different than the Poppy newborn cover he was wearing before. I just have them in the exact same color. He's got it snapped up to the tightest rise setting. There's two options for rows of rise snaps there. This Poppy Mini One Size Cover fits well over the Clothies Newborn Prefold. It's fitting him really well right now. The very first time I tried this cover on him, it was big around the legs, but it's a good fit now. On this side, I actually usually have it one snap looser than on this side, because for some reason one leg seems tighter. He's wearing the Poppy Mini One Size Cover over the newborn fitted workhorse. We have just one set of rise snaps snapped up here to make the rise a little bit shorter. There's still one other option if you want to make it even shorter, but this is a good setting to cover the workhorse fitted diaper that's under there. 
This fits really nicely over the newborn fitted. You can get it all tucked in around the legs. He's wearing the Lovey Bums newborn small cover over the Lovey Bums fitted diaper. Normally I reach for this Lovey Bums cover if I want something for him to wear over a fitted diaper during the daytime because this one's not so warm as his pull-on covers are and it's nice and roomy especially in the butt to fit over a fitted diaper. Next up is the Baby Greens Classic Side Snapping Wool Cover in the newborn size. I've been pairing this with the newborn Clothies pre-folds and I've been jelly rolling them in but then just using them under the cover without a snappy because this cover does a good job holding them in place. So I roll it in from both sides, kind of in the middle, and then bring it up between his legs, fan it out a bit on the top. I bring this tab around from the back and then I bring the wing of the cover around and I snap it. Right now I've been snapping it on the middle set of snaps. And again on the other side, just kind of fan that out, bring the tab from the back bring the cover, snap it, and then I just make sure that any fabric around the legs is rolled in enough. This is really my favorite, especially for the daytime whenever I have this cover clean and some pre-folds clean. I'm always pairing those together, jelly rolling the pre-folds. I've moved it from, I had it on the tightest leg setting before and now I'm using it on the middle one. And sometimes I use his step belly on the middle one and sometimes I put it a little bit looser so it's not too tight on his belly full of milk. It also works to use the novice prefolds jelly rolled under the baby greens cover. So I've got the prefold right here under this elastic here. And then place baby down so the prefold's coming about his belly button level. I roll the two sides in nice and trim here so it'll pass between his legs and not be too bulky. Now for this one sometimes once I bring it up and fan it out I need to fold down the top a little since it is a little big on him still. And then I bring each side tab over, well actually one at a time, so bring the side tab over then the side of the cover snap it here. So I've got the front of the prefold folded down here I bring over this back portion of the prefold, bring over the tab, bring over the wing of the cover. But see I have to make sure I get this really jelly rolled in otherwise it's too big around his leg right there. So I gotta roll it in a bit more. Okay there we go. I rolled the prefold a bit more so it's fitting under the cover there. We got it on the middle snap settings. Over here it looks like I need to roll it in a little bit more too or just tuck it in there. So this baby green's newborn is also working well now with these novice prefolds. He's wearing a Clothies newborn workhorse fitted diaper in the bleached organic cotton. I bought three of these once he was already born since he just didn't have enough fitted diapers that fit him to pair under his pull-on wool covers. He's wearing the Desana knit wool soaker size 3 to 6 months. I really like how it looks with this. Kate Quinn kimono shirt he has that he's starting to outgrow the length of the sleeves there and that. That's a newborn size. And then to show you, it comes up pretty far, but that's how these are meant to be. They give really nice full coverage. This is super comfy and I think he'll be able to still wear this Dasana one for a while to come. Here he is in his heavyweight slim longies from Truly Caris. This is his warm outfit, so if we were to get an especially cool day or be spending the day all in air conditioning, this is his one warm thing he could wear, his long sleeve hoodie and these heavyweight slims. They were a little bit harder to pull on this time. What I did is I just put them up on my shoulder in burping position when I pulled them up over his butt. So that's about how far up they're going. Over his belly button, we've got him over the same newborn workhorse fitted diaper. And I move the cuffs down a little bit since he's growing a little bit in height, but there's still like, a couple inches more length there. Here he is in his newborn slim fit longies by Truly Curious. This is the mid weight wool, and these are a lot thinner of an interlock wool. I can kind of see his workhorse fitted diaper through the wool here. I personally like this thinner, stretchier 
wool since we live in Hawaii and it's hot and humid here this is something that I think would be more comfortable on him still experimenting with how well it holds the wetness I moved the cuffs down a little bit more from the last time he was wearing them I think they even look good uncuffed too since these are slim fit instead of just regular longies they are kind of tapered in here at the ankles so it could almost work for him to wear them just uncuffed like that as well He's wearing his extra small wool bubble shorts by Truly Caris. These are in the mid-weight interlock wool, and this color is Grackle. The previous time I tried these on him, they didn't fit him yet, but now that he's eight and a half pounds, they're fitting on him, yay! So he can start wearing these as well. I mean, they are a bit loose, but the waistband is fitting good enough there now. I like how this mid-weight is nice and stretchy and comfortable. Of course, the leg bands are still a little loose, but I don't mind my kids wearing a bit big on them woolies. He's got these on over a size 1 Lulu Do fitted diaper. I tried the Poppy one size cover on him a couple days ago, and I was so excited to see that it's already fitting on him. He's currently 9 pounds 1 ounce, 21 and a half inches tall, and he's 4 weeks old. Right now, he's wearing this Poppy one size snap in one cover over an assembly fitted diaper or the assembly inner as they call it. This is the snap in one version so it has two snaps on the inside for snapping in an insert but I'm not quite ready to use those inserts right now since he's still having the explosive newborn poop. A little bit of that we're catching in the potty but it often still goes in his diaper too so. For now, I'm using this over a fitted diaper. It also works over the novice prefolds as well. I absolutely love this color, and I'm really excited to see that at nine pounds, he can already be wearing the one size. He still fits very nicely into the mini one size as well with the rise snapped up a bit. So there is overlap that he can wear two different sizes of the poppy covers at once. I've got the rise snapped up here to the tightest setting. I've got the waist in to the tightest, although there is also an overlap snap there. And just to show you on this one size, there's three snap options for the rise setting. So we're using it at the tightest right at the moment. He's currently 9 pounds, 13 ounces, 22 inches tall, and he's 5 weeks old. He's wearing the Baby Greens Classic side snapping wool cover in the newborn size. I have it two in from the side for both the leg and the waist. Sometimes I snap the waist even looser if he's wearing something more bulky, like if he has a novice prefold underneath. This newborn side snapping cover is still fitting him really well. He's wearing the Baby Greens Classic side snapping wool cover in size medium. This is one of the upcycled ones where it's colorful and it's called pattern one since it has this piece with a pattern on it. We went from newborn, skipped right over size small, and this is a size medium. He's fitting well right now into both the newborn and the medium. I have a snap one in from the side on the legs, because even this size medium is a little snug on his legs. But then I have the waist on the tightest setting there. This hangs down a bit lower, a little bit baggy compared to the newborn one on him, but it fits plenty snug around his waist. Of course, it's a bit higher rise, but it's still sitting right below his belly button there. So it's a bit saggy looking, but he can definitely wear this size medium already. He's wearing the Desana Knit Wool Soaker in size 3 to 6 months over a newborn workhorse fitted diaper. This soaker is so stretchy that he should be able to keep wearing this 3 to 6 month size for a while. But it's looking like a nice fit on him now. Getting a little tighter around the legs, still a little loose there comes up nice and high to keep his belly warm. He's wearing his Truly Caris Newborn Slims in the heavyweight interlock wool. These were a bit difficult to pull up onto him today. They come up there under his belly button, getting a little snugger around the waist now that he's getting chubbier and has a full belly. And there's still extra length on these, so lengthwise they'll still fit him for a while. He's wearing the Truly Caris Newborn Slims in the mid-weight interlock wool. He wore these the other day when we went out for a walk when it was cool, 70 degrees Fahrenheit and slightly raining, and these were perfect for him. 
When he peed in his diaper, I could feel the warmth that he had peed, but it didn't get my shirt that I was wearing wet at all, even though he was in the carrier. So this mid-weight wool does contain the moisture in the fitted diaper he has underneath, but at the same time, it's stretchy and good weight for our weather here. He's wearing his Truly Caris Extra Small Bubble Shorts in the mid-weight interlock wool. I really like these when he doesn't need something as warm as the Slims. These are more short style, you can wear them around the house. And I even let him nap in these with a workhorse fitted under. And when he woke up, his fitted diaper was soaked, but his bed sheets were dry. So this mid-weight wool has been working well. You can see they're still loose around the legs. He's not technically fitting all the way into them. And they're pretty loose on the belly as well. But they stay on if he's just wearing them around the house. So I like being able to start getting some use out of them now. I want to show you one last time how the newborn wool covers fit on him. For these examples, he'll be wearing a novice pre-fold fastened on with a snappy. He's currently 11 pounds, 3 ounces, 22 inches tall, and 8 weeks old. He's wearing the Baby Greens Classic side snapping wool cover in the newborn size. He can still fit in this with the snaps all the way out on the loosest setting for the waist and the hips. However, we haven't really been using it lately since we have a size medium and he's been wearing that one instead. It looks like this novice pre-fold is a little bit long on it when it's not folded down at all, but I could tuck that in in the back. He's wearing the Lovey Bums Newborn Small Wool Crepe Cover. The whole time that I was using this, I was always putting it into the tightest setting, but right now I put it out one looser. This wool crepe just stretches so much that I was always able to stretch it pretty tight. But he hasn't worn this one in a while. I just wasn't reaching for it, and I think I even forgot to show this cover the last time I took these clips of the wool covers, just because it was sort of stashed away under our diaper cart. Looks like he can still fit, especially since he could still move out these waist snaps even looser if necessary. And then these kind of stretch, so there's not really much recovery right here in the leg, but it could get looser. He could still be wearing this. It's right at the top of the prefold there, but the novice prefold does fit under it. So if we needed it, if we had to, we could still be using the Lovey Bums Newborn Small. He's wearing the Dasana Knit Wool Soaker in size three to six months. Right now he has that prefold on under, but whenever we use this, we actually use it with a fitted diaper under. This one is so nice and stretchy, comes way up there, that he could still wear this for a while longer if we wanted to because there's plenty of stretch to fit a bulky fitted diaper. I mean it's still even a little loose around here so we can still keep using this when we want to which is mostly at night nighttime for us. Now for these next two he's wearing a Lulu Do size 2 fitted diaper underneath since he no longer wears the size 1. He's wearing the heavyweight newborn slims from Truly Caris. They were a little hard to pull up over that fitted diaper but they are still a little long on him, so since wool's nice and stretchy, he could still wear these for a bit longer. Now he's wearing the mid-weight newborn slims. These are a bit more stretchy. You can see the bulge of the diaper more under them. Even though this pair is a little shorter, it's still a tad long on him. With the stretchiness of these, he can still keep wearing these for a bit longer. He's wearing his Truly Caris Extra Small Wool Bubble Shorts. These are in the mid-weight wool. This is what he normally wears these days when we go out for a day. They're still a tiny bit loose on him, but they've been working great as a diaper cover over a fitted diaper, even though this is the mid-weight wool. It's been working good for us. That wraps up how the wool diaper covers fit on my son as a newborn baby. Currently, when I'm filming this, he is now 11 weeks old and he weighs 12 and a half pounds. The covers he's still currently using are the Dasana Soaker in three to six months. And he also fits in his Truly Caris newborn slims as well. This is the final video in this playlist where I've been showing how all the different newborn cloth diapers fit on my son. We've covered the clothies, prefolds, and flats, all-in-one diapers, fitted diapers, and this wraps it up with the wool diaper covers. If you're interested in natural cloth diapering, newborn cloth diapering, or elimination communication, which is a gentle method of allowing a baby opportunities to use the potty, please subscribe. We have more cloth diapering and EC videos coming your way. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let's spread the wool love.